But what is this variation? So variation means a process is not producing the same results or the why is when we say every time. So that is where, uh, let us take a simple example that we can relate. Let us say you're expected to reach at nine o'clock to office, the time is given here. So, and you're taking last 15 days, uh, what is the time that you logged in to the office or re you reached the office? So it may not be always the exact nine o'clock, it can be nine five, it can be 8.50 or it, it can be 9.10 or it can be you know, a plus or minus 10 minute difference could be there. So that is natural in every process or every process also, if you look into the production time or a document preparation time or a order fulfillment time. So if, when we look into every process, every process will have it. Variation will be there. So those variations, which happens naturally. And if somebody asks you, why did you, come 10 minutes early or what happened to you and why did you come 10 minutes late? So we cannot just pinpoint one reason for those variations. So those variations are called as natural variations, which is also called as common cause variations. So these variations are naturally seen in every process. And when we cannot assign one reason for that variation and multiple reasons are contributing to those variations and which happens naturally in every process, those variations are called as natural variation, also called as common cause variations. But when you're expected to reach at nine o'clock, you reach at seven in the morning or 12 in the noon, it doesn't happen every day and it doesn't happen naturally in whenever you go to office. It will only happen in special circumstances or there are special reason for it. So those variations where we can assign one reason for those variations in the process. So those variations are called as special cause variations. So those variations, if, if we ask, why did you come at seven in the morning? Maybe you had a training at nine and you have to prepare for that or you had a meeting at nine o'clock you have to prepare for that so we have only one reason for being at seven in the morning to the office or 12 in the noon maybe you have an emergency and you have to at home so you got late so one reason for being late to office so that causes or those variations where we can assign one reason for those variations so those types of variations are called as special cause variations. So whenever special cause variation increases, it is going to increase the defects in our process when an equipment, a lot of breakages are happening, a lot of variations are, mistakes are happening. So the defects will happen in the processes and this will affect the customer experience. So when more special cause variations are there, <coughs> your process will experience a lot of defects or mistakes in the process leading to defects and the customer dissatisfaction happens. So that is why when we look into Lean Six Sigma or process improvement methodology, the variations are identified. What type of variations are there? So do we have special cost variations? There are tools that will help us to identify it. We measure the variation by looking into standard deviations. If the standard deviation is very, very high number and we are seeing a lot of variations, then we say we have a problem in our process. We try to reduce variations by the Six Sigma approach. So that is what is variations. So two types of variations exist in every process. Natural variation, otherwise called as common cause variations. Special cause variation, otherwise called as assignable variation or assignable cause variation where we can assign one reason. Special cause variations are not <coughs> good or it is not. It is not, uh, it is not going to be a positive impact to the process. So the special cause variation results in defects and we have to identify the reason for that special cause variation and eliminate special cause variations in the process. So when we do a Lean Six Sigma project, there will be various tools 
which will help us to identify the special cause variations. We use uh, a charts like run chart or a control chart to identify the presence of special cause variations and we'll be reducing it in the process. So that is, we'll be